Hi, it's JC again. Hopefully by now you've recovered from my last video. In that video I mentioned India and I did say it was going to be different. Let me tell you how. Well, this trip's going to be different because, you know, my last trip was purely for me. I got on the bike and I just went. This time, I want it recorded, I want it done properly, I want people to be able to share in the, the experiences that I've had. For this purpose, I invested in a website. So, to help me develop the website, I called in a guy called Tibor, German fella, absolutely brilliant. He's great, he's going to put it all together. But for the video, for the footage, I got in a guy called Bobby. Now, funny enough, Bobby comes from Chandigarh, the place where I'm about to start my, my attempt. So Bobby is the guy doing all the video editing. He's doing everything to make it seem as if, you know, this is going to be professional. So you guys can actually see what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Hopefully, it'll give you an insight into the challenges. India is so beautiful, I hope. So let's see, let's share it. So really, the, the object for this ride is for me, but it's also for charity. And this charity is PIMS, Peel Youth Medical Services. They provide an absolutely invaluable service for, for the youth in the Peel region. If you want to find out more about the kind of work that they do, you can find that information on my website. But let me just tell you, they are a lifeline to some of the kids that need it. Of course, you know, they, they, they are getting some government grants, they're getting funding, but it's the age-old story. It's a very, very deep well. Help is what they need. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to push as hard as I can. I'm going to try to create that world record, but I'm going to depend on you people for your donations, because my target as an absolute minimum is 10,000. Now, to them, for what they really need, that's a drop in the ocean. They need our help. Anything that you can give is going to be a help, and I thank you in advance. Well, the organization of this really is down to one man. I mean, obviously, I've got people here helping me, but when I get over there on the ground, it's going to be down to one person, a guy called Rajiv. He owns Royal India Bikes. If you want any information on that, you can find it on my website. What a star. Absolute, absolute gem. He is so informative. He's the guy that's organized my bike. He's got it running and ready for me. He's doing all the extra bits and pieces, the spotlights, the UBS, the navigation system. You name it, he's doing it. He's going to also try to coordinate that if I need accommodation, he'll organize that. He's going to do everything in India that I need, I hope. You hear it, Rajiv? Well, I actually got a chance to ride a Himalayan here in Australia the other day. That was thanks to JCS Motorcycles. They lent me, um, you know, a, a Royal Enfield just for the day, just to go out and see what it was going to be like. And I've got to be honest, whilst it's never ever going to set the world alight for speed, it's reliable. It's got plenty of low down grunt, just the sort of thing I need for all those twisty turny roads. It should be good. So what am I going to face as a challenge? Well, I would think I've got the Himalayas, so you know that's going to be pretty harsh. 
climbing up to 19,000 whatever it is. Um, so I'm going to have that. Obviously, there's going to be the varying climates. There's going to be a potential language problem. Food, you know, the old deli belly business, being a Westerner. Um, but listen, I've got a great bike in the Royal Enfield. And from what I understand, the average person out there is going to be really keen to help. So they're a great people, you know, they're friendly, they're hospitable. And I'm sure if I need help, somebody will come forward. India is going to be a massive challenge. There's going to be things that are going to come at me from all different directions. And it's probably best that I don't know what they are until I actually get there. But is it going to be the end? No. There'll be more. Watch this space. But for now, India, here I come.